The movie opens with a voiceover from a woman reflecting on a girl's unforgettable experience of her first crush. As the narration continues, we witness a young boy pushing a little girl and insulting her. When she confides in her mom, her mom explains that the boy's behavior might be his way of expressing interest. Meanwhile, two women discuss reasons why a guy they've dated isn't returning their calls. The voiceover interjects, suggesting that perhaps the men are simply not interested. The scene shifts to a date between Gigi and Connor, which goes well. After parting ways, Connor calls another woman, Anna, while Gigi excitedly talks to her friends, thinking Connor is calling her. As it turns out, Connor is speaking to Anna, who seems disinterested and promises to call him back. Anna meets a man named Ben while grocery shopping, and he kindly lets her go ahead in line. Later, Anna wins a giveaway and is thrilled. He discusses his date with his friend Alex before calling Anna again. Alex advises against it, believing Anna isn't interested. Anna declines Connor's call while chatting with Ben, who offers to help her with her singing career. Anna takes his business card, unaware that he is married. She learns of his marital status but insists he can still assist with her career. The focus shifts to Neil, Ben's friend, who shares stories about his girlfriend Beth. They discuss marriage and Neil's resistance to the idea of a costly wedding. Back to Gigi, she talks with her friend Janine in her under construction apartment, continuously checking her phone. A message appears, stating that if a man isn't calling, he's not interested. At a table, a tipsy woman complains about caller IDs hindering her from contacting men she's dated. Gigi eagerly answers her phone, hoping it's Connor, only to find her mom on the line. Beth, Janine, and Gigi work for a magazine. Gigi and Janine discuss Gigi's date with Connor, with Janine attempting to offer encouragement. Gigi contemplates orchestrating a bar meetup with Connor but ultimately decides to leave him a voicemail. After no response, she goes to the bar and talks to Alex, who helps her understand that if a guy doesn't call back, he's not interested. Gigi realizes she's the rule, not the exception. Anna discusses her attraction to Ben with her friend Mary and decides to pursue him despite his marital status. She flirts with Connor over the phone but leaves after receiving compliments. Beth reaches a breaking point with Neil over marriage, leading to their separation. Ben calls Anna back, promising to assist her, but Janine, who is actually Ben's wife, questions him. Gigi and Janine go on a double date, and Gigi connects with her date. However, he leaves without committing to a callback. Mary talks about dating on MySpace at her job. Beth tries on bridesmaid dresses with her sister and friends, and they offer support. Anna confronts Ben about her attraction, and he admits his feelings and the circumstances of his marriage. Janine discovers cigarettes in their home, thinking they belong to Ben. The scene shifted to Anna, who was instructing a yoga class attended by Ben. During a candid discussion, they decided to maintain a friendship, but soon enough, Anna's actions contradicted this as she allowed their relationship to progress. Upon Ben's return home, Janine confronted him regarding a pack of cigarettes, suspicious of his involvement. Ben, however, deflected blame, attributing the cigarettes to the construction workers. Meanwhile, Gigi found herself in a passionate moment with a date, who later revealed his upcoming absence. In a state of distress, Gigi turned to Alex for guidance, unaware that he was preoccupied with his own romantic endeavors. Switching gears, Ben and Neil shared a boat outing, where Ben expressed relief in his bachelor status, unburdened by the constraints of marriage. His sentiment veered towards his desire for Beth's return. Gigi's anticipation for a double date with Alex was met with disappointment as he admitted to a scheduling mix-up, leading to a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Janine, on the other hand, confronted her workman about the cigarette source, only to find no evidence of smoking. Later, a passionate encounter unfolded between Anna and Ben, further complicating their dynamics. In a separate scene, Anna confided in Mary about her hopes that Ben would leave Janine for her. Beth's presence at her sister's wedding was marked by her evident unhappiness and an unconventional role in the ceremony. Gigi's pursuit of Alex at a party backfired when he dismissed her advances, leading to confusion. The narrative took a somber turn as Beth's father suffered a heart attack during the wedding celebration, and she found herself shouldering the responsibility of his care. Amidst turmoil, Ben found himself in an unexpected rendezvous with Anna in his office. However, their tryst was interrupted by Janine's sudden appearance, leading to a dramatic confrontation. In the aftermath, Alex's distracted behavior caught the attention of Kellyanne, who prompted him to confront his feelings for Gigi. Alex's apology to Gigi led to a reconciliatory moment between them.
Neil's proposal to Beth marked a turning point, culminating in a wedding ceremony aboard his boat. The story concluded with reflective interviews featuring the characters discussing the impact of their relationships as the credits began to roll. Thank you for watching.